All right, ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we are going to work out another segment addition problem in geometry. Last video, we found x. In this video, we're actually going to find a distance. So let's take a look at the picture we're given. If you don't already have some kind of straight edge, I'm using a protractor, but a ruler would work, a credit card, anything that's straight. You need to draw a picture. If you're not drawing a picture, then you're only an audience member. And remember, math is not a spectator sport. So you've actually got to participate. So I'm labeling the points J, K, and L. And the problem says that J to K is 27. And that K to L is 3X minus 1. What else does the problem tell us? It says that the distance from J all the way to L is equal to 5x plus 2. Right? So we'll go ahead and write that somewhere. I'll write it up here. The distance from J all the way to L is equal to 5x plus 2. Let me draw that in. That means that this whole distance from here all the way over is equal to 5x plus 2. Okay, now what does the segment addition postulate tell us? It tells us that if you want to know the complete distance from one end of a thing to the other, you have to add the distances of each part. Okay, these are segment right there plus a segment right there. You put them together, you add them together, you get the total distance. That's the segment addition postulate demonstrated with the broken pencil. Okay, so what does that mean we do? We are asked to find what JL is. So they want to know the total distance. Okay? So what does JL equal? You can say, well, JL equals 5x plus 2, but that is not the only thing that JL equals. JL also equals distance JK plus distance KL. Okay, so we'll say JL equals JK plus KL. And that's totally useless. So let's plug in the things we know. We know what JL is, 5X plus 2. We know what JK is, 27. And we know what KL is, 3X minus 1. So let's plug those things in. Instead of writing JL now, I'm going to write 5X plus 2. And I'm going to set that equal to JK, which is 27, plus whatever KL is, 3x minus 1. Okay? And now we're back to just solving an algebra problem. The very first thing we're going to do is find x. All right? So let's gather x on the left side. If we're going to do that, we should probably start by moving this 3x over here. So right now, 3x is being added on the right, so we should subtract 3x from both sides. Okay? So, what is 5x minus 3x? Be careful here, people. The x is going to be there. So you just subtract the coefficients. 5 minus 3 is 2. On the right side of the equation, you've got 3x minus 3x. Well, anything minus itself, itself is just 0. So... Let's rewrite the problem and see where we're at. We've got 2x plus 2 equals 27 minus 1. Okay? Well, let's do this step. What is 27 minus 1? 26, right? So let's just rewrite this as 2x plus 2 equals 26. Please don't try to stuff a bunch of steps into each step of the problem. Do one thing, then rewrite. Okay? So, now what do we do? We want to get x by itself, so we've got to get rid of this plus 2 on the left. We'll subtract 2 from both sides. On the left-hand side, 2 minus 2 is 0. And on the right-hand side, 26 minus 2 is 24. So now what do I have? What do I have? I've got 2x on the left. 
equal to 24. So 2x equals 24. I bet you're doing it in your head right now. So I want to get rid of the 2. 2 is currently being multiplied by x, so I'll divide both sides by 2. Okay? The 2's cancel on the left. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And I've got x equals 24 divided by 2, which is 12. So now I think, this is a conjecture, x equals 12. We have to now plug the 12 into the problem and see what the total distance is. Okay? So here's what I need to go back to the problem now and see what I've got. I think x is 12. So if x is 12, I should be able to substitute that in everywhere I see an x. I'm going to put a 12. So instead of x, I'm now going to put 12. So there's going to be a 12 here. It's going to be multiplied by 3. Down here, there's going to be a 5 times a 12. Okay? So let's work out these problems here. 27 doesn't change. It's still 27. Now let's check this. What is 3 times 12? Let's see. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. 3 times 12 is 36. 36 minus 1 is 35. So this is 27. JK. KL is 35. Okay, let's see what that equals. 27 plus 35 equals 62. So here's my conjecture that J to L equals 62. This is what I want to figure out. Does J to L equal 62? Got to test it. I should be able to multiply 5 times 12, then add 2, and I should have 62. Let's check. What is 5 times 12? Okay. 5 times 12 is 60. 60 plus 2, 62. So does JL equal 62? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. So they wanted to know what JL was, and we found it. JL is 62. Easy peasy. All right. So that was the whole problem. Not too bad. If this video is useful to you, please like the video and leave a comment if you have a question. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel so you are alerted to new videos. Thank you.